Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12. And for today's vlog, I'm so excited because today is going to be our first travel vlog. And with that, I'm going to be sharing with you all my travel adventures in Lima, uh, Peru as well. I went to both Lima and Cusco um, back in May of 2018. I had a really good time. I did some zip lining. What else did Rainbow Mountain. I went to Machu Picchu, uh, Pachuca Mac. Um, what else? I went to the marketplace. I went to feed the alpacas and llamas and uh, the salt mines. I went everywhere. And so check out my video clips as uh, so you guys can know as well as with Third INT, you know, we, we only just we, we not only just strive to bring social awareness to society through our products and services, but we also want to entertain you guys. So it's not just about being gritty, grinding, bringing, talking about social taboo issues. We want to keep you guys entertained and for those who are not able to see the world. You live vicariously through me. So when you come to distance well, this is what you see. So check out the videos. Hope you enjoy. And then towards the end, I'll come back on and hit you up with some more info. World. I had to make sure it's really. But uh, in any case, I'm out here. I have to get this lake. But it's really beautiful out here. Man, I'm not tired, but this altitude, this, this air is, is thin, so. It makes it really hard to breathe, so just FYI, if you ever come to Peru or Cusco, just be on the lookout for that. Whew. Other than that, having a real good time out here, riding the ATVs, you know, let's do some zip lining later on. Just out here living life, that's the way it's supposed to be, you know. We made it to it a couple of days before, it was under the weather. But I'm back now, different travel somewhere You have to count how many pools. Chicos, vamos a ver a la mano derecha cuántos pozos de sal hay. My friends, please, I have to explain first in Spanish after in English, ok? Chicos, bienvenidos a las minas de sal de maras. Les voy a dar la explicación acerca de este lugar. Podemos ver ahí, este, estos pozos de sal, chicos, han sido trabajados desde época pre -inca. Luego no han llegado a trabajar en época inca época de la colonia y llegó hasta hoy, hasta nuestros días. Hoy en día este lugar está con un alrededor de 4500 pozos. ¿Sí? ¿Quiénes lo administran? Los moradores de la parte baja de la comunidad de Pichicoto. Okay, come on. All right. 
So we are here in Pisac, Coru, Coru. I hear on a land of <coughs> one. See, John Dill. Okay, but you're serious. Now, what you going to say? Just strolling through, you know. Last two days in Peru, we're enjoying himself, living life. What's up, everybody? Want some? I don't look greedy. I'm gonna call you black. Where your eyes at? Can you see eyes? No? Okay. But yo, check out your wool. It's time for the haircut, G. You got locks like me. <laughs> Oi. I'm gonna go chill with your buddy then since you and that all stink. What's up? Mm hmm Yeah, so me and uh I think I'm gonna name him Cusco. Because of that movie, not because I'm a Cusco. You better not bite me. I'm watching you. Are you fine? Okay, you good? Alright, you want more? But, you want some more? Cusco Jr., you want some more? Oh, Cusco Fru, baby! Do some more, they call me Poke. This Poke. Oh, G. He's up, G. But you look greedy, so. <laughs> Going somewhere, yo. You're taking everything, yo. You don't want to take no photos or nothing, yo. You just want to take the food, yo. I can't stand about you, Woo! Go yourself. Go somewhere. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Go. You don't care about me. You don't care. Give me money. Give me Nah, 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 nah. I'll give somebody else. Give somebody else. You ain't worthy of it. You ain't worthy of it. Okay, okay. Maybe one more. Okay, there you go. All right. There you go. All right. All right. Come, come on now. Come on now. You're just so greedy. My oh, God. It won't take a thousand. Jesus. <laughs> you look like, wait, come back. <laughs> nope. 
is the reason why any piece that is to be unique. Hola. Get out. What's up, dog? What's up? I see, come home. Don't roll up on me like that, yo. You don't know me, yo. Okay? Check yourself, bro. Bro, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I'm out here walking on rocks. Out here by the lake. Yo, yo, yo. I have nothing for you. Back off, back off. Okay? I got nothing for you. I have nothing. Nada. No tengo nada. Okay? Adios. Adios, muchachos. Que te vaya bien. No, no, no. Go, go. Bye, bye, bye. But yeah, <clears throat> you see that? But yeah. <laughs> bye. <laughs> so, you can see 
Circle of life, also known as Mother Earth, Pachamama, the beginning and the end of life. The next step is going to get a little complicated because the most important part of the whole process will be the polishing of the jewelry. Once the part is completed, they all going to have to go to a high quality control inspection. And let me show you what it looks like once it's done. Smooth and 
Find your fingers soon. It feels like uh, there's one single fish. As a matter of fact, I think I mentioned that. Now, a lot of you probably are wondering how to recognize what is real and what is not. <laughs> I hate to remind you this, but uh, you're in Latin America, ladies. It's a jungle out there. Be careful. <laughs> Look at this here. Maybe you can take a guess and tell me which one do you think oh, is that's real? real silver. No yeah. silver. Well, actually, uh, none of them are silver. Let me tell you why not. Uh, oh, even if you see the stamp on it, don't go for that. Uh, at the very beginning, it was like that. But after a week, two weeks later, that tarnish it like this. See, that was going to happen. Where you are in the world, it's really beautiful out here. It's very peaceful, serene. Got the town in the back. <laughs> really cool. So I finally came in and got me a horse. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. What the fuck? Oh, I'll be out and road horses. I did trek three miles. It's still, it still ain't done. Even after we go up to that little peak y'all looking at up there. I can't go around this. I'm great this now. I'm tired. Look at that peak. Everybody's going up to the top. Yeah. Right there at that little peak, 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 peak. You still ain't done. Look at that peak. Everybody's going up to the top. Yeah. Right there at that little peak, 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 peak. You still ain't done. Look at that
still gotta go around the corner, yo. Man, I'm, I'm grabbing this. Shoot. Die. Let me do it, though. Right. <laughs> what? 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 Let's try to get pumped up, yo. Let's get pumped up. Like Missy? You ever Missy before? Yeah. Missy Elliot? Yeah. Why you gonna touch up? Yeah. Where's my dog? Is it
Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video with Macho to Lima. I, well not just Lima, but Peru. Uh, I keep saying Lima because that was the first place I went, but if, you guys, if I had to pick, I would say Cusco is the go-to. It's more adventurous, but if you're looking for more of a relaxed and to be immersed in the culture, then definitely want to hit up Lima. Also, fun fact, um, for those who don't know, when you go out there, please respect the fact that they do eat guinea pigs, that is a delicacy, and so for those who found the planet, just understand that. I was shocked too, it was a culture shock for me, but just understand, you know, when you go to these different places, you know, you just gotta respect their ways of living, so that's what it was for me. And if you want more information about Peru and its culture, be sure to check out my blog on differencewell.net, where I share in my pictures and other videos as well, so... If you want more information, definitely go to my website. And with that being said, don't forget my book, What If da, 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 A Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available now on my website, differenceworld.net. You can also get it at Amazon, but I'm going to be real with you. If you go there, it's much more expensive, so go to my website and get a better deal. Uh, also, with that being said, uh, what else I got coming up? I'll be featured in um, this month of October National Black Book Festival. It'll be on Facebook Live, so you guys make sure you hit my website. I'll go to my Facebook page for more information on that. Uh, other than that, what else? What else, everybody? Nothing else just to uh, motivate you, and remind you, whatever you want in life, don't forget to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you no matter what. With that being said, Difference World. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A Controversial Paradigm Shift by Author Different. Illustrations by Anastasia Arnold. Coming August 2021. Go to differenceworld.net.